now rebuilding Greek credibility. That is the task that's facing Greece's finance minister as he embarks on a whistle-stop tour of Europe. But can George Papa Constantinou shore up investor confidence, convince the markets that the country is back on track and will meet budget deficit targets? Well, he joins me now. Mr. Papa Constantinou, thank you very much indeed for coming in to talk thank to us this morning. Me. Thank you. Now, if I can begin by talking to you about those uh, EU and uh, IMF uh, growth targets. The target's 13.7% uh, this year. Now, the government revenue did rise 3.3% in the first eight months. That does mean that you would need a growth increase of more than 30% to meet those targets. Do you think well, actually, the, to do the, the real target that we have to, to get to is a target for the reducing the deficit. Mm -hmm. And uh, that target uh, is uh, to reduce the deficit by at the end of the year uh, a little bit shy of 40 percent which is a, a huge decline 12 billion less than uh, 12 billion euro less than 2009 we're actually already cut 7 billion of that 12 billion uh, we're ahead of the curve we're ahead uh, we even have a cushion in terms of deficit reduction at the eighth month and this is because we've been cutting expenditures faster than the program was projecting. So yes, we are a little bit behind in terms of revenue collection, mm -hmm. but that's more than compensated by the fact that uh, revenue, that expenditures has, have been declining faster. So you may miss the 13.7% target, but you're not so worried about we that? May, we may have some shortfall in revenues because the country's in a recession, for mm -hmm. example, and uh, even though VAT has gone up, uh, and we've seen an increase in VAT receipts, for example, 10% up in, in August, overall, revenues have not been rising as high as we had been projecting but um, as I said uh, we've been quite successful in uh, reducing expenditures and actually experience shows that the most successful fiscal consolidation comes more from uh, uh, having a control on your on your expenditures rather than from your revenues which you cannot always control now, some countries uh, like Israel have uh, introduced these diaspora bonds, the idea being that uh, those expats who have moved away from Greece but uh, still have a lot of ties there, for example in the US or in Australia, might be interested in buying those bonds. Is that something you're considering actively? Indeed, we've, we've looked at that. This is something that we, we are preparing. There's as many Greeks abroad as there are in Greece mm. uh, and therefore a diaspora bond which will tap uh, the market and uh, the willingness of, of Greek citizens abroad uh, or Greeks abroad more generally to contribute to this effort that is being done mm -hmm. is something that we want to do. Uh, we will be rolling something like this out sometime in 2011. Oh, so it will be coming out next year? Yes, indeed. And what kind of price are you looking at? Uh, oh, we'll, be, we'll have to see that. Uh, we're, we're working the details out. We're talking to a lot of uh, market makers. We're looking at how the, the best way to, to bring this out. Okay, and you don't have any more details to give us at the moment? Not at the moment, no. If we look at uh, the VAT situation, because obviously uh, you need to raise revenue as well. Are you going to increase that to things like uh, food and clothing? No, VAT has gone up by four percentage points, mm. uh, and uh, this uh, has been a huge increase. Uh, we are trying to limit any further increases. Uh, in the program we have agreed with the, the EU and the IMF, there is a provision for uh, increasing uh, um, uh, the VAT on certain items that are now on a low band scale. We're, we're looking at the way to minimize that because we, we're quite uh, worried that further increase in VAT may hurt the market and we're trying to find alternative solutions to that. Uh, that will be in the budget that will be tabled to Parliament uh, at, uh, in October. Now, you have successfully uh, cut spending, as you've been telling me, but on the issue of tax, even today, uh, the IMF talking about uh, the need to cut back on tax evasion and to increase uh, the amount of uh, income tax that you're able to collect. What kind of percentage of the income tax that is available to collect are you collecting at the moment? Well, tax evasion is a, a, a big problem in, in our country, as in some others, but it is something that we are tackling in a, in a very determined way, and we've actually been showing results. For example, in, in the first uh, six months of this year, we've collected over one billion of tax arrears, which were uncollected. Uh, we have changed the rules uh, in the new tax law that we passed to be able, we introduced presumptive taxation based on assets, so that somebody cannot be 
uh, offering services, declaring very low income, and at the same time have a car to houses and send his kids sure. to private school. Uh, we're changing the legal system because until now you could have seven to ten years until a tax dispute would be settled in the court. We're, we're shortening those deadlines. And therefore, we're completely over overhauling the, the system around uh, taxation in order to be able to make sure that uh, the large percentage that is currently being lost, because if you look at VAT, for example, we're five percentage lower than the average in terms of receipts and the average EU member, uh, to be able to, to bridge that gap without having to increase tax rates. So do you know what proportion of income tax you're currently collecting? Uh, we do know we're, we're collecting, we do know the absolute numbers and we do know we're collecting less than what is uh, uh, out there mm -hmm. and what we should be collecting and I think the best approximation to that is if you look at the difference between revenues from taxation in, in Greece as opposed to revenues from taxation in the EU, the difference is around five percentage points. Okay. Now what are the chances that Greece is going to have to roll over that IMF EU loan? At the moment, we are uh, fully on track with the program. We've opened up all the big reforms effort. We've, we've finalized a, a radical pension reform, which makes the system viable for the long term. We've had tax reform, budget reform, labor market reform. We've opened up closed professions. All this is going to be a positive shock to the economy mm -hmm. from the supply side to increase growth rates. Fiscal, the, the fiscal deficit is going down. We're moving into primary surpluses. So the combination of primary surpluses and high growth rates means that we will be fully able to roll over our debt and be able to manage the debt within the existing program and with the rules that we have at the moment.